Okie dokie. I usually do that before I even record, hit the record button. I just say those things and I don't catch the moment. So I have to reenact it. Anyways, I had taken a can of this tomato paste here. It's a uh, six ounce can. Make a more sweet marinara sauce for more gluten free, vegan, green lentil, chickpea tofu, ricotta, lasagna. We're waiting for the to say that word lasagna after the green lentil variety of this Explore Cuisine organic green lentil lasagna noodles. I had uh, already minced four to five small to medium sized cloves of garlic along with the tomato paste that I emptied in there and I have to add in about two to three level tablespoons of this balsamic. It's recording. One, two, three, four. Four level tablespoons. Usually I add that later on, sometimes after I add the water and everything. Visual timing of my memory. Okay. Olive oil. Five level tablespoons as usual. Usually I, um, most cases with the balsamic is usually two level tablespoons. This is going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. And a bottle of spring water, filtered spring water. So, uh, yeah, be right back. Oh, I need to add then the Himalayan pink salt before I do that. Before I forget. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight rotations of this two inch diameter dispenser. Approximately. It's about a level of teaspoon worth. Let's get good. I'll be right back to get the water. Just one bottle is good enough. I also got sugar in the house, so that's good. I always sweeten it with the sugar. I have to use a fork to whisk this. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use the whole bottle. I'm using. Oh, great. Is this still recording? Good. Okay. Okay. I'm leaving about. Let's say it's about, almost a quarter in the bottle. Okay. Let's get a fork in a second to whisk this. I do this with my clean hands, you see. Because uh, parents made, oh not parents, my mother had made a special Christmas dinner. There's meat in the air, you know, cooking. So I, my hands still have, a, you know, I washed my hands with detergent. And it's like, you know. Start with like that. 
of the sugar. So it up here like this, carefully. Okay. Ah, close to a half a cup organic vegan cane sugar. Get the soy milk powder, the brown rice milk powder, and the sweet white rice flour. Brown rice milk powder. I always leave it in this room. The soy milk powder. It's good. I'm always afraid that my arm's going to stop the recording. Great. I don't know if it did. Let's see. Oh, it's still recording good. Four to five level tablespoons of the soy milk powder of a one to one ratio, respectively, with the brown rice milk powder that I'm going to add. Both of the same measurements. Okay, that will be soft. Sweet white rice flour. I'm not sure if I do. I'll have to check now. I usually add that too. Maybe. Okay. Be very careful because it's down at, by the by the floor. So I got to open it up over here. I moved the chickpea tofu ricotta over there. Wash my hands quickly and get a new bag. New Ziploc bag. Gotta wash my hands quickly. Smells good in here. It smells like vanilla or something. Coconut. It smells like a coconut custard pie in there. The other room smells like a coconut custard pie. Even though. I do like, I do like more vegan parma smell, you know.
Right. I'll put the same amount as the soy milk powder, brown rice milk powder, as the sweet white rice flour. That's why I put the sweet white rice flour with this bag here, the soy milk powder. I'm going to go a separate bag for it. It's all sealed. I'll double check it later. Smells really good so far. Heat it now. Yeah. Looks a bit pale at first as usual with all my other recordings of the same recipe until I heat it and stir it. Then it becomes dark again. Where are these clumps? Put some coarsely ground black pepper in there as usual. It, can, it kind of tastes like a pizza sauce. Well, pizza sauce when I do that. Oh man, I'm stumbling over my words tonight. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to add the pepper to it. I'm out of the, the peppercorn, so I'm not going to be able to do that tonight. It'll be okay. Usually in the past, I would just use tomato paste on top of the lasagna. So this this is good enough. For now. line a pan with foil in a minute. This inside. It's uh, 9.56 p.m. December 25th, 2021. Making sure it's clean. Line up foil now. Wash my hands in a second. Excuse my right hand.
Oh, 15 minutes, I've done this.